All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between the Pitbull Andre Arlovsky and Curtis Razor Blades. All right, so here's the heavyweight contender, Curtis Razor Blades, Juco National Champion at Harper College as a collegiate wrestler, and he has been one of the more prolific takedown artists this heavyweight division has ever seen. Yes, he's a very big, very strong, very skilled wrestler, but don't sleep on the hands yeah. of Curtis Blades. In the Justin Willis fight, you saw the wrestling set up the overhand right that put Willis down, and you've seen that from Curtis Blades, a guy that's so good at that one skill that it opens everything else up. Curtis Blades is a beast in the heavyweight division. He was massively disappointed that that Francis Ngannou rematch didn't go his way, but to your point, turned around quickly, beat Justin Willis, and got right back on that path to contention. We'll see how it goes for Curtis Blades here tonight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Blades is 29. Arlovsky is 41. Blades weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a three inch reach advantage. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Curtis Racer! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 30 wins, 19 losses, and two no contests. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a former UFC heavyweight champion, Andre the Pitbull Arlovsky. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. It doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this one? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, 
with his kicks to make this a stand-up affair. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. You cannot take too many of these big elbows from the clinch. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, so there's the only takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Back him out now. Thought about a joke, instead flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, Jim. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down ground and pound. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. Good work from the top here by Curtis Blades. Side control now. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Well, he's got his back now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Working out of the half guard here. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Curtis Blades. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, round one is done. Very interested to see how it plays out here in our second round. Andre Orlovsky. And that man, Curtis Razor Blades. Good punch lands. There's no tell on that leg hit. Starting to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Mixed it all up. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole. <laughs> all right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Relentless pressure from the top by Curtis Blades. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Come on, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Back him out now. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. Got 
Gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Arlovsky. 90 seconds to go. He's having his way with him here. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. 60 seconds and counting now to go in round number two. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground to me. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Blades ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Oh, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. And the horn sounds on round two. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fight. That was a thudding leg kick. That shot blocked by Curtis Blades. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Back in the clinch, look for him to hang on his opponent's head and try to wear at his gas. True on the double leg. Blades gets the takedown. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Oh, these are some big punches here from the top, DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet, and he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's doing a real good job of being aware. There's danger when you're standing at the top of your opponent like that. You've got to watch it up there. Notice how he leads with his hips when he goes to land strike. minutes to go in the round. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on him. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing. Here. That'll do it! Unbelievable! He got him! Oh, oh! Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, brutal extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight.